we've reviewed um, our approach to applying security. That is now trying to, to grow broad. Because before our efforts were focused just on diamond security. But as I said, with the changing landscape, you have to start on a journey of factoring in um, other areas. And these are what we call the five asset classes, which um, over the next three or four years we'll be looking at. Of course, diamonds are our core. We shall continue uh, uh, looking at them. Uh, the human factor, start paying particular attention to the, to, to the human factor. And I think presentations elsewhere would cover that. That is, you know, the weakness the human factor is. And then information, um, that is the core and the lifeline, you know, the oxygen of, of a business. Have we been paying much attention to it? So it's an area where, with all its nuances, we'd want to pay particular attention to it. And of course, uh, physical uh, security on the, on the buildings, um, the cash, the vehicles, the equipment, and both tangible and intangible. Um, and then other, more particularly our reputation. And we base this largely on the fact that uh, Diamond is viewed as a, an extremely disc discretionary uh, a purchase. And its value really relies entirely on how, what people view. With all its mystique of creation, if New York gets up in the morning and decides that, hey, Diamonds, especially diamonds from Botswana, we don't want, they're useless. They just become ordinary <laughs> stones. It's really, and so thus, when it comes to reputation and equity around diamonds, it's a premium which we, as security, want to start paying uh, uh, attention to it. 